Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Is anybody there? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. I, I am driving, right? Driving? Yes. <laughs> but oh my gosh. In 20 minutes uh, at home in, on camera. <laughs> okay, thank you. Very good. Okay, be careful, please. Okay? Okay. Very good. We are going to wait for your classmates. I'm surprised you are the only one today. Huh, where are the others? Okay, I'm going to give some minutes and let's wait for them. Right. Good evening. Good evening to. Hello. How are you, Tony? Very, very fine. Thank you. And you? How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Welcome to the class. Welcome. Let's see. And well, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Thank you so much. <laughs> what? What? Happy uh, Valentine. <laughs> Yay, thanks. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, I, I don't consider myself like very romantic, but oh, God. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh, everyone, tell me, have you have you done anything interesting today? Anything special? No. No. <laughs> today work, work, work. <laughs> Only that. <laughs> Last, um, baby, like Ray Rihanna. Ah, war, 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 war. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That song is pretty funny because uh, I can barely understand what she's singing. It's like, what is she saying? All <laughs> right. So, yeah. Okay, so everyone, I hope you have had a very good day. Today is Tuesday, and remember, we are in the week number three. So, platform, I hope you're working on that, okay? So, let's see, what are the others? My goodness. Okay, let's see. Okay, I have been uh, checking the platform, everyone. Um, some of you haven't finished uh, the exam. So, I mean, at this point, remember guys, you have to do it, okay? So, we are going to start today. Um, today, I want you guys to have a lot of practice, a lot of speaking. So I want to everybody participate, okay? Um, I know that sometimes you can be listeners, okay? And that's, that's all right. But in the last days, there has been like most of the class is listener, okay? So I totally understand if you, for example, if you are sick or if you are like, I don't know, maybe you are driving, it's okay. But if you want to be listener just because, ay, que hueva participar, no, right? So that's not the attitude, okay? 
Remember, every time that you are listener, you have to write the word. I'm listener. So when we check attendance, appears. Fulanito de tal dijo oyente. What happens on the next day? Ah, again, oyente. And the next time, again. So time and time again. So almost every day, you appear like listeners. So imagine if Insafor check that, what do you think? What would they think? They will say, and oh, this person is just listening to the class, is not participating, is not taking advantage of this program. All right. And remember, um, if you want to improve, right, you have to participate. If you participate a lot, you will learn a lot. If you participate, you will improve. So um, I really want to everybody try to be active here in the class. And if you want to be listener, okay, but please just if it is totally necessary, if you are sick or maybe if for an emergency, but not just because, okay? Be careful with that. Another point uh, that I wanted to tell you is about the attendance. Remember, attendance um, is important, okay? But sometimes when I'm checking attendance, I say the name and sometimes there, there is a person or sometimes that doesn't answer. I say the name, the person is here, but sometimes doesn't answer. So I always try to check and verify if the person is here, even if the person doesn't answer, I try to put the attendance. But if you don't answer, if you don't have the camera on, I'm no longer going to give you the attendance because I don't listen to you, I don't see you, so I don't really know that you are here, okay? So be careful with the attendance. Remember, if you listen to your name, you just have to say present, as simple as that, okay? Be careful with that. So those were the news that I wanted to tell you, everyone. Um, no es un regaño, es un llamado a la conciencia, okay? So please just remember, everyone, um, this is a great opportunity for you, okay? Uh, you are not paying for this, so take advantage about it. And come on, we are about to finish this level. It's just one week and a half, and you will go to the next level. So come on, you can do it, okay? So we're going to start today's topic, okay? Let me share the presentation. Okay, can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Yes, okay. So today is February 14th. Congratulations to the ones who are in love. Okay, I hope you had had a very romantic day. And we are in the unit number three. That means that you have been working on the platform on the unit three. Okay, so please work. Now, yesterday we were talking about human resources. We checked like a lot of vocabulary. At the end of the class, we studied this vocabulary. Do you remember this one? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. Great. Uh -huh. Okay, I saw some teams yesterday. Well, actually, mm, all of the teams got very good scores, and that's great. Okay, and we're going to have a practice. So just to see if you remember the meaning of these words. Is there is a word uh, that you don't remember what the meaning is? Yes, Which redundant, one? what is the meaning? Which one? Redundant. Ah, okay. Remember that in this case is a phrase, make 
redundant. Redundant. Make yes. redundant. Okay, everyone, do you remember what's the meaning? No? Nobody? Okay, yesterday you remembered, not today. Okay, make redundant is when a company fired some employees. Not because they are bad employees. No, it's because the company doesn't have the money or doesn't have a financial, a, a very good financial situation to continue paying. Right? So that's why they fired. In Spanish, what could be this? It's like un recorte. Okay? So the company can no longer continue paying to the employees. That's the meaning of make redundant. Is there any other word that you don't remember very well? Yes, me again. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> uh, different between white collar, collar, collar. I don't know how to say collar? that. In collar and blue collar. Very good. Aha, uh -huh. classmates. Do you remember the difference? Yes. What the is it? Collar are the similar like um, employees with activities of um, administrative activities. Mm -hmm. And blue collar is more and then um, that they need to use our muscles or in the or in the workplace or or something physical or, or more physical exactly that's the one white collar is more intellectual job right you are like your classmate said a little bit more administrative you are in an office right but blue collar is more physical job Okay, you are not inside of an office. Maybe you have to work outside. That's the difference. Clear? Clear, thank you. You're welcome. Any other word, anyone, that you don't remember what the meaning is? Or is it totally clear? Sorry, one more. Go ahead, no worries. To suck. Ah, very good. If you are a bad employee, <laughs> what will happen to you? Uh-huh. If you are bad employee, what will happen to you? Everyone? You will be suck. Suck is like to be fire. Okay? Su jefe ya no lo quiere en el trabajo, así que to suck. That is something negative. Okay? Is it clear the meaning to suck? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Aha, uh -huh. anything else? Or is the word all the words clear? Okay. Remember, the idea is to use this vocabulary. So we are going to practice some speaking questions. And in these questions, we are going to use these words. But before practicing these questions, I'm going to check attendance. I think that most of you are already here. So again, if you listen to your name, so just say present. Abigail Mejia. Abigail Mejia, Andrea Amalia, um, Atilio Ernesto, present teacher, okay, Blanca Elizabeth, Carlos Alberto, Celia Cristina. Present teacher. All right. Henry Alberto. Here I am, teacher. All right. Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Good. 
Jorge Jonathan, José Ezequiel, Juan Antonio Elías, Present teacher. Juan José Herrera, Present. Okay. Karen Rocío, Present. Okay. Carla Sofía, Present. Carol Elizabeth, Present. Kenia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Lady Xiomara. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Okay. Nelson Orlando. Present. Okay. Um, Sandra Abigail. Present. Okay. Stephanie Michel. Jan Siquelita, José Marvin, and Edwin Enrique. Okay, very good. Oh my gosh, I think some of your classmates went to celebrate Valentine's Day, and that's why they are not here. Huh. <laughs> That's the reason, right? I, if you see, most of your classmates are not here. Maybe they are celebrating. Ah, so everybody, the ones that are here, thank you so much for being responsible. That's the one. Okay, very good. So let's practice these questions, everyone. Remember that the idea is to practice vocabulary. So in this moment, Try everybody to practice, okay? I want to everybody talk. That's the idea. I'm sending the questions on WhatsApp's group, okay? We are going to go to practice. For this activity, we don't have like a lot of time, okay? So let's try everyone to participate. Can you see the questions? Yes? Yes, teacher. Right or in the chat? Yeah, in WhatsApp. Oh, on WhatsApp's oh, okay. group. Okay, yes. okay, okay, thank you. All right. Well, everybody, let's go to practice. If you are in a group where nobody is talking, so please tell me and I will switch you to another group, okay? Let's go to practice. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. The, the, the first group of supervising. <laughs> this is very lucky. I'm very lucky ever. Okay, I'm going to show you um the screen for for to view the questions. Okay. Um, I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to ask to Jorge Antonio, why did you apply for your current job? Jorge, Jorge, can you listen to me? Hello. Hello. Jorge R. Muted. Okay. I'm going to 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 um, make a question to the other participant. Uh, Ken, are you available? Yes. Okay, why did you apply for your current job? When I applied to my current job was 
um, because um, is near to my house and we have benefits. They give me um, full my lunch, but only a part. No sé cómo se dice ellos patrocinan. A part of the eh, the the fifty percent of the lunch. And other benefit is they give me um free day in my birthday. And um, I don't remember, but we have good benefits. But okay. eh, when when we um, cuando entramos a pandemia, they they did it. They don't give all the benefits that we have in the beginning. But I have some. Okay. That's all. You say that the. The previous company don't have very, very benefits to their employees. And this one, they have better benefits or better conditions for you. Uh -huh, everyone. I don't listen. Hello. 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 Uh huh. Did you finish all the questions? Only you. Uh, groups. Oh, you are alone. Nobody is talking. Mm -hmm. Okay, no worries. Atilio, I'm going to switch you to another team. I'm going to send everyone to different teams so you can participate with someone else. Okay, no worries. Okay. Yeah? Yes, yes. Perk is mm. like benefit. In my office, benefit, I... I don't have a, a schedule. Uh, yes, I don't have a schedule. Okay. I I work um for my time. Para mi tiempo, en mi tiempo. Okay. It's not pressure. <laughs> it's okay. relaxed, and I work for my bed, my best friend is okay. my boss is really relaxed with me <laughs> okay <laughs> okay if you want to sleep don't come to work <laughs> yes it's no problem it's okay. Oh, okay. wow <laughs> that sounds like a very but... beautiful job <laughs> yeah <laughs> but okay. i i no sé cómo facturo más que todo entonces no problem Oh, okay. Ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so everyone, Atilio is here. So ask him too, please. Hello. Okay. Welcome, Atilio. Welcome. Hello, Atilio. <laughs> yeah, I will ask you the first I, I, question. I, I have been uh, <laughs> happy dia. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, why did you apply for your current job? On me? Yes. For supply my name. What did you say? Um, for supply my name. ¿Cómo se dice necesidades? Needs. Need ah okay for supply my needs supply supply my needs my needs okay yes okay okay second question have you yes. ever done part time job did you like it yes I don't like it 
the Why? question how have you ever done part time job part time when you work only half day please 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 Matrice. Okay. Um, personal developer um, promotion. Okay. Okay. Did you like Is it? Is internet free, no? Not. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> money in a party. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, and how about how about you, everyone? Have you ever done part-time job? Yes. Yes. And do you like it? Yes, but is uh, I was young. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And Juan Jose, how about you? In my case, I never had a part-time job. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> so you don't know no, how I it don't feels. Know. Yes, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Would you like it? Would you like to have a part-time job? Uh, my guess, because I think I... Tuviera, how do you say tuviera? I would had. I would had time to work and time to spend. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's true. Very good, very good. Okay, okay. continue everyone. Okay, uh, what are some perks your company offered you? Minutes. In the night, uh, the office in my house, um, one hour. For the traffic, yes. In my case, um, some parents um, I don't know. Um, tal vez, um, Permission for a study. <clears throat> Permission for study and we can, well, I can use a clothes comfort, comfortable and use tennis and t-shirt and, and maybe informal clothes. And I don't, I don't have in extra hours. The pay is the hour. <clears throat> no, no, but uh, if I I work extra hour, if the company gets me uh, um, the time. Um, okay, how example, can how can I say how can I say I, extra hours? I do extra hours. <laughs> ah, vocabulary is in the list. Ah, I do extra hours. Mm, I do. There is another word. Instead I of extra, extra hours. hours, I do. I do. <clears throat> overtime. <laughs> Ah, that's the one. So remember, the idea is to use the vocabulary. Okay. Okay. <laughs>
the other question. Um, what some adventures? Hello? Hi. Yes, number four. What are some advan adventures and disadvantages of doing home office? Mm. Um, advantage. Mm, advantage is uh, mm, we don't need to get early. <laughs> Maybe. In my case, a uh, advantage, and I live on time. Mm -hmm. The combo of the diesel is more expensive in this time, mm -hmm. and the company pay all con uh, all how do you say consumo? Consume. Consume that all in the in the month and the maintenance too. Yes, yeah, so, so, um, the car company is a great pex for for me. And the and the maintenance of the vehicle of the car is by the account of the company too. El mantenimiento. Ah, maintenance, yes, the maintenance, maintenance, uh, fuel, uh, change of or, or radials, oh. radials, radials, radials. Uh, what, what is red? Ah, the, the the tires. Tires, sorry, radials. <laughs> <laughs> radials. Yeah. You have a, a a cell phone, a new cell phone. You have a um a gigabytes for navigation and and calls these are more difficult finally i have a cell phone for the company <laughs> okay 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 please as for another person uh, for in in the jorge what are some advantage and disadvantage of doing home office? <clears throat> well, I, I think uh, if you if you work in your house, um, you for example, in my case. Oh. No face with traffic. For example, in my case, um, I get up very early, but the traffic is, is horrible. If I work in my home, I save for the traffic. And the hours for your work, uh, for example, if, if you start at seven o'clock, you start work at this time when you finish your work uh, it's the same in the afternoon for example if if you finish the work uh, at five uh, in the noon you finally work this time in my case i get up at 3 a.m go uh, to my work at 4 a.m and travel to for uh, two hours more or less uh, I start work at 7 a.m. in the afternoon, uh, finish my work at uh, 5 o'clock. But uh, again, I go to my home and I stay here more or less at 7 or 7, 7.30. If you uh, stay in your home, the all of you is 
is is is is a is a ben, is advantage and this advantage really i i don't know i i don't have for me i don't have yeah. mm, you use your internet to do your work it, you use the, the energy um but, I, I don't know Something but uh, but well in my case for example i have the internet for my for my sons yeah and the pay is i i always pay month for month and i i don't know when when we uh, stay in home for the pandemic yeah uh, i i talk uh, with my boss with my co-workers and i don't have a problem yeah for my work um it is it depend to uh, what is your Hello, teacher. We are done. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's go back to the main room. But first, I would like to know. Hmm. Let me ask you, everyone. Why did you quit your previous job? Because why? the salary is bad. <laughs> oh, the salary was bad. Okay. In previous job, I am salesperson. Okay. And I don't like salesperson. <laughs> you didn't I, like I, it. <laughs> I don't sell anything. Ah, uh, okay. That's a good reason. Very good. Juan Jose, how about you? Yes, there came a good option to upgrade my salary and upgrade my skills, and I take it. That's great. <laughs> Atilio, how about you? Why did you quit your previous job? Um, for supplying my name. Okay, but did you like your previous job? Did you like it or not? Um, yes, I don't like it. You don't like it? Yes. Mm, okay. All right. Well, everyone, we don't have more time. Let's go back to the main room, okay? Yes. Okay. Very good. Time's up. Okay, let's wait for the rest of your classmates that they are still in the rooms. Uh -huh, everyone, time's up, time's up. Let's go back, let's go back. Very interesting answers I was listening to. Okay. Well, I'm waiting for everyone. They are still in the rooms. Let's go back, everyone. Let's go back. Okay, let's see. Okay, everyone, how did you feel the practice? Was it easy or difficult to answer these questions? Mm -hmm. Easy or difficult? I think this is very funny. 50-50, <laughs> kind of funny. Did you listen to Spanish? <laughs> a little, little, little bit. Uh -huh. A little, little bit. I'm not sure. Okay, the idea is try to avoid it completely, okay? I don't want to listen, not even a little, a little. No, zero, please. Now, super good because I was listening to some of you giving a lot of details. That's great. Um, great because I was listening to some of you using the vocabulary. So that's super, super great because that, that's the idea. Now, be careful with some little details. Uh, I was listening 
this word in Spanish. So what is the meaning of sponsor? Do you know that? What is a sponsor? When you help patrocinador, no? Um, yes, yeah. it can be it can be a noun, but also it can be a verb. Okay? So as your classmate said, it can be patrocinador or the action. Okay? Now I was listening to do extra hours, but instead of saying extra hours, what is the phrase that we can use? Part time or? Mm -mm. It's in the vocabulary. Instead of saying to do extra hours, what phrase can I use? Let's go to the vocabulary. Overtime. Very good, exactly. To do overtime, great job. So mm, extra hours, no, overtime. Now look at this sentence, company do. Hmm, is that correct? The company do. Doing. Company does. Ah, the company does. Remember, it's third person. Now, what is the pronunciation of this word? Advantage. Okay, advantage is if it is in singular, but if it is in plural? Advantage. Advantages. Okay, advantages. And in negative, disadvantages. Advantages. Okay, advantages. Advantages, disadvantages. Okay, those are like the correct pronunciation. Now, what is the meaning of monthly? What is that? Every 30 days? Exactly, every month. So sometimes we say month to month or month by month. Instead of saying that, we can say monthly, okay? If you see everyone, little details. Now, something that I could identify is the difficulties to talk in simple past. Um, do you remember simple past from the previous level? I mean, do you remember the irregular verbs? Regular verbs? Yes? Okay. In this level, we will practice a lot simple past too, because I can identify that when we are talking in past, we are not saying the verbs correctly in past okay we are talking in past but we still have the verbs in present so we are going to start practicing a lot simple past so the idea is at the end of this level the same way that you speak in simple present that you are doing so good you have to talk exactly the same but in simple past okay we are going to um work on it okay now, super good with the questions. Now, in order to finish this topic, okay, remember that yesterday we have been talking about human resources. So in order to finish this topic and to move on to the topics for today, we are going to read this conversation. So this is on your manual on page 29. Okay, let's go to the manual on the page. 29, okay? I will need two volunteers for reading, so who wants to read? Uh-huh, two volunteers, yeah. please. Who say me? Abigail, bon dia. Thank you, Abigail, and thank you, Tony. Okay, Abigail, you will be Dorian. Tony, you will be Mr. Chang. 
Go ahead. All right. Excuse me. I'm looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who is she? Sure. She is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibility? Responsibilities? Responsibilities. Our responsibilities? Ba ba basically. Basically. Bas basically. Basically, she provides recruiting administrative 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 support for the team of recruited. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado, he is the talent manage, management, management, management consultants. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. All right, very good. Thank you, everyone. So, can you tell me what is the position of Miss Chavez? Recruitment coordinator. Very good. And what does she do? What are her responsibilities? Recruiting. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what else? Recruitment to support. Look. For the Requires. For the team requires. Very good. So provides recording administrative supports for the teams. And how about Mr. Salgado? What's his position? Talent management consultant. Consultant. Exactly. So talent management consultant. So inside of the department of human resources, you have different positions, right? And that's something that is going to appear on the platform. So be careful with that. So one of the positions that we can find in the human resources um, department is the recruitment coordinator. If you want to be a recruitment coordinator, look at this. What is the first thing that you need hmm. I need a título? bachelor degree so if you want to be a recruitment coordinator you need a título you need a bachelor's degree okay a recruitment coordinator what does this person do they Organize schedules of the candidates, opens and pass requ uh, requisitions, coordinates internal and the uh, internet job positions, um, and all the postings that you can see, right? You need a degree in management. You need to work, look, with the recruitment team. How many years of experience do you need? Five years. Five years. Do you need to work on weekends? Yes or no? Uh huh. Do you need to work on weekends? No. Not really, right? According to this information, basically only weekdays. And you can work 
part-time. According to that information, let's answer the following questions. What does the recruitment coordinator do? Uh -huh. Let's see how good your memory is. What are the activities that the recruitment coordinator do? Internal and external jobs positions. Uh huh. Recruitment for B or his responsibility. I'm sorry. I couldn't listen to you what very well. What does the recruitment coordinator do? Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay, and the rest of you, everyone, what do you think? Just check this little box. So according to this information, what does the recruitment coordinator do? What do you understand? What are the activities? Work with the with and support recruiting, recruiting team. Okay, very good. Do I need, oh, look at the next one. What is the recruitment coordinator's experience? Do you need experience if you want to be a recruitment coordinator? Yes. How much experience do you need? In the Salvador, 20 years. <laughs> yeah right yeah, yeah, but really. <laughs> according to to the to the book right how many years five years five very good and the last question when does the recruitment coordinator work when what is the schedule Uh huh. Weekends or weekdays? Oh, weekdays. Weekdays. So, is it a nice position? Yes or no? What do you think? Would you like to be a recruitment coordinator? Or not really? I don't like. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. And the rest of you, will you like it? Look, only weekdays. Weekends off. Part time, so you don't have to work a lot. So for some of you, it could be a great experience, a good position, but maybe some of you could think, nah. That's not for me. Now, on the platform, you will see some of these different positions that you may uh, find in human resources. So because of the time, I don't want to see all of this information because it can be a little bit longer. So you have the resources, you have the book, so try to read it. And if you find new vocabulary, always write it down. Okay, now we are going to continue first the topics of today and is how to use present progressive for ongoing actions. Do you remember the present progressive, everyone? Yes, no, a little bit? Yes, teacher. What is the present progressive? Can you give me examples? Is when do, is when when do you make the action? For example, and um, uh, playing soccer. Ah, very good. Is that ing. Ing. That's correct. Exactly. So that is what we are going to practice today. I hope everybody remembers. Okay, and remember, present progressive. We can use it for the coming future, but today we are going to focus on ongoing actions. That means activities that are happening in this moment. 
Okay, so this is the class objective at the end of the class. Participants will be able to apply the present progressive for ongoing actions, but always related to your company. Okay, now let me ask you those questions before starting. Imagine that you are an employee, okay? So what are some qualities that a good employee needs to have? What do you think? We already studied the meaning of qualities. So what are some of the qualities that a good employee needs to have? Be responsible. Very good, be responsible. What else? Always late. Do you think that that's a good quality? Always late? No. <laughs> no, right? So what could be a good qualities? Honest. Honest person. Very good. Organized. A very organized person. Yes. Engage. I'm sorry? Engage. Engage. What do you mean? Uh, comprometido. Ah, okay. Sounds good. A plead. Atilio? A plead. A plead. What do you mean? Aplicado. Oh, aplicado, you mean? Applied. Yeah. Applied, yes. Okay. All right, so those are very good qualities that an employee must have. Now, what is the most essential, the most important quality that an employee must have if you want to get a promotion? Imagine that you are the boss and you want to give a promotion to one of your employees. So. What is the most essential quality? What is the most important characteristics that someone must have in order to get a promotion? What do you think? Quality. I'm sorry? Quality. Mm, depends. Depends for why. I'm what? sorry, I, I cannot, I, you are breaking up. Can you repeat? I don't know if, if it is my microphone. Let me check. Can you no. hear me? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, I can hear you now. I'm sorry, I don't know what happens. Okay, uh, hi everyone. I'm sorry, can you repeat? What is the most essential quality in order to get a promotion? Depends, depends for what? Depends on what. For example, imagine I need a new manager for sales department. So what will you see? What will you looking for? I need a manager for the sales department. What is the essential quality? Proactive. Experience, experience. Experience. To oh, yeah, but that's good. a good one. Good to talk. A very good speaking. Responsible. What else? This proactive. This, this, proactive. This, Atilio, what do you say? Displaying. I'm. I'm sorry. Discipline. Oh, discipline. Yes, mm. definitely. Good presentation. Very good, very good, very good, exactly. So if you see, when we are describing the employee's characteristics, basically we are talking about their performance. And here are some of the characteristics that the employees must have. For example, show commitment. That is something that some of your classmates mention is always punctual, always on time, 
uh, doesn't violate the rules, is very respectful about the policies of the company, always follow indications. So if you see, we have different characteristics that a good employee needs to have. Let me ask you, look at these characteristics. Hmm. Would you have all of them? Do you show commitments? Are you always punctual? So what do you think? Do you have all of these ones? Yes, no, 50-50, 90%, maybe. What do you think? Uh huh. Do you have all these characteristics? A little bit, some of them. What do you think? Evaluate yourself. For example, do you follow indications? Mm, sometimes. A veces no les encaso al, al, al supervisor, <laughs> right? <laughs> My gosh. So imagine. Yeah, all what say supervise Tony? <laughs> okay, supervisor, tell us about your employees. <laughs> Be careful, Atilio. <laughs> oh, Matt, Matt and, no, Lewis, right. and Henry and Nelson. <laughs> can, can you manage? Oops, let's change the yes. topic, right? <laughs> so vocabulary okay so imagine if i ask tony okay tony tell me are they proactive collaborative positive yeah. attitude yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay now let's just stop thinking about the job and think about the class aha uh -huh. what happens in an english class do you show commitment to the class? What do you think? Imagine that Insaforb is evaluating you <laughs> as a student. Ha, do you show commitment to the class? Are you always punctual? Some of you are always punctual, but some others... Do you violate the rules? Ahí está, cámara off, right? Thank you, this is funny. <laughs> All right, so imagine the idea is check the vocabulary, right? But also evaluate yourself. Now, let's see this conversation where we are going to apply that vocabulary, but also we are going to check how we can use the present progressive. Okay, again, this is on your manual in the page 35. And I will need people for reading, but let me open it on the manual so it could see a little bit bigger. Let's see. Okay, can you see the conversation? Yes, teacher. Okay, who wants to read? Me? me? Okay, Celia and who else? Who say me? Me. Jorge. Okay, Jorge, you will be Pedro. Celia, you will be Max. Go ahead. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rijet. Good morning, Mr. Rijet. This is Matt from IR. Who can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what thing of information do you, do you need? We are checking of some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any wearings and the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at managerial position? All right, thank you everyone. So what happens in the conversation? What is the conversation about? 
need the reference for a job, a new, a new position. And what is the position that uh, this person is applying for? Manager. Very good. Okay. What is the ongoing action? What is the action that is happening in this moment? Look, they are checking the references. They are planning, planning, to, promote. planning to promote him. Very good, very good. So what do you think? Is he a good employee? Does he deserve to be a manager? Yes or no? He's responsible. He's is responsible yeah. look doesn't have any warnings has a, a good feedback so do you think that does he deserve to be like the next manager absolutely <laughs> very good all right so let's pay attention on the structure Okay, when we are talking about the present progressive, I know that this is a topic that maybe you already studied. So let's check grammar a little bit fast. When we are talking about ongoing activities, we are talking about something that is happening in this moment, right now. So what is the structure that we need to follow? I need a subject. I always need the verb to be, always. And what happens to the verb? What is uh, the characteristic? ING. Uh -huh. Correct. I need the verb in ING. And then just the complement. Look at the example. We, subject, then verb to be, verb, in ING, we are updating the information. Ah, the staff is planning to give him a promotion. What is happening right now? Can you tell me what are you doing in this moment? Right now, what are you doing? We are studying. Okay, we are studying English, for example. What else? We are listening our teacher. Ah, mm -hmm. we are listening to the teacher. We are sitting in front of computer. Very good. We are sitting. We are speaking. So. <laughs> driving oh my gosh okay. we are celebrating valentine's day valentine's <laughs> day hey, ah so romantic right okay very good look i'm going to paste a heart <laughs> okay more hearts for you everyone look wow wow so you Too think cool. i love you everyone you see look <laughs> okay, so ing. What happens if I want to say the sentences in negative? What is the only thing that I need to do? No. Isn't. Exactly. I just need, look, if I want to do it in negative, I just need to add not. Can you tell me an activity that you are not doing right now? We are not sleeping. <laughs> we are not eating. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not sure not, about it. We are not playing. <laughs> I hope so. Okay. <laughs> we are not playing. Very good. I'm not eating. We, we are, are not, not celebrating. 
<laughs> we are celebrating here in the class. Come on. <laughs> okay, so. And chocolate. Uh huh, Atilio? And chocolate. Ah, chocolates. I'm going to send you virtual chocolates. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's virtual. Okay. How, how do you say? No llamen a la desgracia, muchachos. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Henry, Henry, Henry. 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 <laughs> All How right. I, I say yo regalé. I gave. Oh, okay. I gave chocolate, but I eat one. You. <laughs> ah. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, anyone else? Did you give chocolates today to someone? No? Okay, now, if you see everyone, this is the structure for the present progressive. It's very simple, okay? You just need verb to be and then the verb in ing. If it is in negative, simple. You just need to add the word not, okay? Now, is there a question about the structure of the present progressive? Questions? No? Hmm. Okay, if you don't have questions, look, here we got more examples. If it is in affirmative, look, verb to be, and the main verb, ing in negative verb to be and the only difference is that you just need to add the word not simple as that let's have a practice look at this picture can you tell me what is happening here what are they doing create sentences please Uh huh. The what are they doing? Is, is sleeping yeah, over the couch. Okay, the cat is sleeping. Very good. What else? Three, three of them are, are playing cards. Good. Um, she is reading a book. She's reading a book. Correct. They are talking. Growing. They are talking. She is painting or. Drawing, uh huh. What happens to this guy with the cup? He's, he's Luis. He's only <laughs> eating only one chocolate. <laughs> this is Luis eating the, the chocolate. <laughs> okay. That they only one chocolate. <laughs> only one, yeah. Only one chocolate. Okay, yeah. I mean, that's fair. It's, it's good, okay? That's why I never give chocolates because if I give chocolates, <laughs> I mean, I will eat them. Okay, I want to ask you some questions and I want you to answer using the present progressive. For example, imagine everyone that right now it's four o'clock in the morning. What are you doing? Imagine that right now it's four o'clock in the morning. What are you doing? So for probably, example, probably, probably sleeping. Okay, so some of you can say, I'm sleeping. So what about the rest of you? Is everybody sleeping at four o'clock? Taking a shower. Okay, I am taking a shower very early, by the way. Yeah. All right. Now, oops, everyone, imagine that is 8.30 in the morning. So what are you doing? I am drinking coffee. Ah, very good. I am. I am working. All right. Okay, some of you drinking coffee or am what working. I, what, what I were, sorry? 8.30 in the morning. 
Uh -huh. What are you doing? Ending a meeting. I mean, meet. Okay. All right. Now, I will be asking individually. So let's see. Du, 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 du. And I'm going to ask to Kenya. Hello, Kenya. Hi, teacher. Okay, Kenya, imagine that right now it's noon. What are you doing? I am having my lunch. Ah, very good. Okay, having lunch. Let's see. Karen, Karen Rocio, imagine that is 1.30 in the afternoon. What are you doing? I drink juice. I drink? I-N-G. I drink. Ah, very good. M, drinking? Juice. Juice. Okay, very good, very good. Let's see. Ezequiel, are you there? Yes, miss. Okay, imagine that is a quarter to four in the afternoon. What are you doing? Um, what are you doing? Uh huh. What are you doing? Imagine it's imagine that right now it's a quarter to four in the afternoon. So what are you doing? Are you working? Are you sleeping? Or what are you doing? Um, maybe sleeping. Oh, really? Okay. Very good. Very good. So you take a nap in the afternoon. <laughs> okay. Let's see who else, who else? Um, Celia, it's 5.30 in the afternoon. What are you doing? I am drinking Coca-Cola. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. okay. okay, sounds good, sounds good. Okay, let's see, Henry, it's eight o'clock in the evening. What are you doing? I'm taking a class of English. Aha, <laughs> very good. I'm taking English class. Very responsible, right? So, if you see, this is the way, everyone, that we can use the present progressive. Again, this is for ongoing situations. That means activities that are happening right now in this moment okay now let's continue practicing i want to everybody practice please i have here a quiz and you have to choose what do you think is the correct answer okay so pay attention here everyone we just have few questions can you see it can you see the quiz Yes. yes. Okay, imagine yes, imagine that this is an exam. Choose the correct answer and then we'll see if your answers are correct or not. So in the number one, I will be asking one by one again. Let's start with Luis. Luis Miguel, can you answer the number one? Give me a minute, please. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are driving, right? Yeah, uh, I am watching TV and my brother is reading a book. Okay, letter B. B. Okay, let's see. Abigail Bonilla, can you answer the number two, please? Abigail, are you there? Yes. Okay, Atilio, number two. What is the correct answer? Uh, 
Thomas and Patrick are playing. Are playing. Yes. All right. Let's see. Um, ta -ta 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 -ta. Jorge, Jorge Antonio, can you answer the number three? In this case, is a question. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Number four, let's see, Juan Jose. Four. Yes. They are not eating their dinner right now. Okay, all right. Number five, uh, Carla Sofia. Uh, are you studying now? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. Number six. Let's see. A uh, Karen. Uh -huh. uh -huh. What are you doing? Where are you doing? Or when are you doing? And look at the answer. Ah, I'm taking a test. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, very good. Let's continue with the next one. Um, Kenya, number seven. What is the answer? I can't talk to you right now because... I am studying. Okay, I am studying. Letter C? Yes, letter C. Okay, let's see. Next one. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Stephanie. Stephanie, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, number eight. What is the answer? Let me see. Letter, letter A doesn't go. Doesn't go. Oops. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. We got technical issues. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. Doesn't go. Are you sure? Remember, present continuous. Yeah. Oh, really? Letter C. Ah, Thanks. okay. Very good. Tony, number nine. It's very noisy upstairs. What? Hmm, it's very noisy upstairs. Upstairs. What does it mean upstairs? Upstairs is, for example, when you are living in an apartment. So this is the first floor. Upstairs is on the second floor. In the next level. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. What are they doing, the letter A? Okay, let's see, number 10. Henry, what do you think? Let me see. Are they working now? No, they aren't. Okay, let's see. Did I ask to everybody? Yes. I think I asked to all of the ones that are not listeners. Okay, 11, volunteers, what is the correct answer? Me, teacher. Yes. Is he sleeping right now? Yes, all right. please. Okay. And the last one, volunteer, what are we waiting? Uh -huh. Why are we waiting? What is the correct answer? Who are we waiting? Are we waiting? Who are we waiting for? Okay. Well, this was an exam, so let's see what your score is. Oh my gosh! Perfection. Good job. That's the scores that I want to see.
on the platform, okay? Very good. So if you see, it's very simple to use the present progressive. Now, everybody, tell me, what are some activities you are doing these days? Mm -hmm. I check, I, I check in the cars of the distributor. Okay, very good. What else? What are you doing these days? I buy and chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and eating them. <laughs> and and oh, eating. <laughs> and eating chocolate. Too. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's very funny. Wait, okay. No, no, no. Wait, I need the... Uh, Check. It's a good chocolate. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, everybody. He eats one of them just because he wants to verify that they are good quality chocolates. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. I say, I say, look in the chocolate is so dark. Let, let me try one. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh -huh. so. The rest of you, what are some activities that you are doing these days? I am bailing the signal. 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 Uh, can you repeat, Atilio? I am bailing the signal. Uh, okay. Okay. In signals, what do you mean? Signal. Yes. It's a check as a signal of or cellular antenna. Ah, signals. Signals, yes. Yeah, got sign. it. Mm -hmm. Sign, sign. Uh, okay, radio got frequency. it. Right, ah, frequency. very good, very good. What else? ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal, uh -huh, everybody else. What activities are you doing these days? ¿Cómo se dice Flying a lot of males. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyone, do you have a question? Why, que, ¿Cómo se dice esconder? Higher? Yeah. Or hide? Hide. Ah, uh, okay. So, hide <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, <I don't> know. <laughs> the chocolate. <laughs> the chocolate. The chocolate. <laughs> no, no, no. I think that there are more chocolates. Hmm. Yeah, uh, mm. my car is more like chocolate. <laughs> okay. I, I am communicating an incentive for the Sellers group. So, um, Luis, are you going to share the chocolate with everyone? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why not? Mm. Okay, listen, everyone. He's going to give you chocolates. Okay. Yes. <laughs> for black. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, look, listen to the chat. It says I'm ready the presentation. Yeah, that's present progressive too. Very good. So I want you everyone to write sentences using the present progressive, but I want you to use these verbs. Okay, so I'm going to give you two minutes to write sentences using present progressive. Now, you can use affirmative or you can use negatives, the ones that you prefer, but try to give me interesting sentences. I mean, if you say, for example, <clears throat> uh, I'm planning, that's it? No, I need a compliment. Okay, I'm planning what? Okay, uh, I'm calling. Okay, but calling what? I need a compliment, okay? So everyone, you have two minutes to create a sentence per each verb, okay? And then I will be asking individually what the sentences are, okay? You can use affirmative or negative sentences. Go ahead.
write sentences, I will be asking individually what the sentence you wrote. Go ahead. Don't forget to add a compliment, please. Ready, everyone? Did you finish the sentences or no yet? Uh huh. Finish. Okay, let's see what sentences do you have. I need a volunteer. The first one is with planned. What sentences do you have? Me. Yes, go ahead. I am planning to take a vacation. Ah, very good. Nice job, Atilio. Very good. Okay, volunteer for the number two. Call. Me, Juan Jose. Okay, go ahead. I'm calling to Claro. I need technical support about my router. Very good. Excellent job. Nice sentence. Very good compliment, everyone. I like it. Number three, volunteer. Uh huh. Number three, check. Me, teacher. Yes. I'm checking my platform now. Ah, very good. Excellent, excellent. Number four, right. Uh huh. Do you have a sentence with right? I'm writing the report. About what? What my, kind of report? My routine. Oh, your day. routine report. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, okay. We have a routine. We we have a routine. Um, we complete uh, many instruction by my boss. Ah. Okay. Boss. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Very good. Okay. I'm sending the report. <laughs> <laughs> you are writing and sending. <laughs> yes. Okay, Johnny. Do you have a sentence with send? Yes. Go ahead. I'm sending. An email to our customer for a, uh, how do you say, um, apologize. I'm sending an email, uh, I'm sending an email uh, from a customer, um, sending or making an apologize. Okay, apologize is the verb, apologies is the noun the action and ah, for with the apologies for or, or uh, this group um 
service or, or discontinued service. Ah, okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. And the last one, speak. Me. Volunteer? Yes, go ahead. I am speaking English with you right now. Very good. Excellent job. So, easy. Present progressive. Everyone is one of the most simple grammar tenses that we have. Do you have any questions so far about this topic? No questions? Easy, right? Now, the problem that we normally have in English is the difference. Sometimes we are speaking in simple present and sometimes we are speaking in the present progressive. So what is the difference? Because both of them talks about the present. So that's what we are going to practice in the minutes that we have left. The difference between the present progressive and the simple present. Now, look at this box. Volunteer for reading the ones for the simple present, please. We are just tense to talk about repeat action, habits, or routines. They happen always, never, usually, every day, or normal. Thank you. So look, when do we use simple present? When we are talking about routines. Normally, when we have simple present, it's because we have frequency adverbs, okay? Can you give me examples of sentences in simple present, please? Talking about routines, using frequency adverbs. Give me examples I... of simple present, uh-huh. I always drink Coca-Cola in the afternoon. All right, very good. What else? I always drink coffee um, sweet. <laughs> okay. We always drink coffee. So we have here, some of you drink Coke and some of you drink coffee. Very good. So if you see, these ones are routines. These ones are actions that happens with a certain frequently. The difference with the present progressive is the next one. Volunteer for reading, please. The present continuous or present progressive. We use the tendency to talk about action which are happening now or at the moment. Very good. So that is the difference. In this case, it's just something that is happening right now or at the moment. Okay? Look at the sentence. I always drink Coke in the afternoon. Can I say... I am always drinking, do you think? Can I do that? For example, in the afternoon, can I say that? What do you think? No. no. Not really, right? Because it's not, not happening it. right now. So in this case, it's different if you say, ah, I'm drinking coffee or I'm drinking Coke right now in this case yes we can do it okay that's the difference is it clear everyone when we are going to use present simple and when we are going to use the present continuous yes yes okay very good if it is clear so I have some questions that I want you to talk about it. But before that, we are going to check attendance again. So everyone, if you listen to your names, you know, say present. Abigail Mejia. Present. Okay. Andrea Amalia. Atilio Ernesto. Here I am, teacher. Okay. Carlos Alberto. Celia Cristina. Present. Okay. Henry Alberto. Here I am, teacher. Okay. Jorge Antonio. 
Present teacher. Jorge Jonathan. José Ezequiel. Present. Okay. Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Juan José. Present teacher. Karen Rocío. Present. Okay. Carla Sofía. Present. Okay. Carol Elizabeth. Carol. Okay. Kenya Elizabeth. Present teacher. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Right. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Okay. Nelson Orlando. Present. Okay. Sandra Abigail. Okay. Stephanie Michelle. Present teacher. Okay. Jan Siquelita. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Marvin. Edwin Enrique. Okay, very good. Okay, everyone, so it's time to talk. I have different questions here, and you just have to answer using the correct grammar tense, simple present or simple past. For example, look at the first one. What do you think your best friend is doing right now? What would be the answer to that question? Present privacy. Present progressive, yes. What could be a sentence? Can you give me the answer to the number one? What do you think your best friend is doing right now? He's sleeping. Ah, very good, he's sleeping. So, present progressive. Now, look at the number two. What's your morning routine? So, what do you think? Present uh, simple or present progressive? Simple. Present simple. Very good. Exactly. So when you are answering these questions, please identify the correct grammar tense and answer using the correct one. I could see one of your classmates already sent the questions. Thank you very much. So we are going to go and practice. Now, just let me create the groups. Um, let's see. Let's see. Give me a moment because I have some listeners. Okay. Okay, give me a second, please. Um, everybody, please try to enter to the breaking rooms and everybody, please try to participate. This is the moment for you to talk. Okay, just give me a moment, please. Do, 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 do. Okay, everybody, remember, no Spanish, not even a little bit. So the questions are simple. So try to give as many details as possible. Let's go to work. And important, remember that when we are talking about the present progressive, you have to pronounce the verb to be. Sometimes we say, I playing, I'm mm -mm. playing. So let's sound the letter M, okay? Let's go to practice. I forget Spanish, I forget English. I be quiet. <laughs> uh -huh. Stop eating chocolates. Yes. <laughs> okay, join to the group, I please. I can join. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> Try, come on. I have two listeners. Okay, let's see. Hello, Kenya, are you there? Yes, teacher. Will you participate? 
Yes. Excellent. Lady, are you there? Or oh, okay, lady will be uh, oh, it's gone. Okay, no worries. I'm going to send someone else. Give me one second. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, one moment. <laughs> okay. I'm sending you to Carla Sofia. So she is going to be here. Okay, sorry, Carla. I switched you to this group. Okay, let's <laughs> practice, everyone. Go ahead. Hello. Hello, Carlita. Hi. Hi. Tell me something for. <laughs> uh, what do you think your best friend is doing right now? Probably he's sleeping or. Probably is he having a date? Wow. For us, yeah. it's sad. What? For us, it's sad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you share the screen with the question? Uh, sí. Yeah. Spanish. Spanish. What happened is she says she forget the English and the Spanish. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Uh, can see you? Yes, I can see. Yes. What activities are you doing at work to get the promotion? What activities are you doing at work to get promotion? And the second question. Oh, well, sorry. What What's is your, your morning, morning routine? routine? Hmm? Kenya, Andrea. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, I usually wake up at 5 a.m. After that, I take a shower and I eat my breakfast at 6 a.m. And I leave my home at 6.30 a.m. I go to work at 8, 8 a.m. And I go to gym. I try, but sometimes <laughs> I go to gym every day at 6, 6, 15 p.m. And then I, um, I have English class at, no, I have my English class from 8 p.m. to, mm, to 10 p.m. That's but all. this is uh, in, the, in the evening. But in my case, I wake up so early in the morning. I silent my my phone alarm. Uh, I take a shower. I drive my car at work and try to don't be late. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a meeting with the team. If I have time, I bre I take my breakfast. This um after that I I am looking for issues in the sail sail route with the vendors, but the seller. Mm -hmm. In my case, I get up at 6.30 a.m. And then I eat in the breakfast. Coca-Cola. Coca no. <laughs> <laughs> With cereal. <laughs> I always drink coffee and, and you know, beans. <laughs> Beans. 
X and beans. Um, como, uh, how would you beans. say plátano? Uh, banana. Teacher. Well, uh -huh. Uh -huh. How do you say plátano? <laughs> okay, you can say fry plantain. Like fry plátano, plantain. plátano frito, right? Uh -huh. So we can say fried plantain. Plantain. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's no banana. It's plantain. I mean, you can say banana too, but remember that it's banana is like different. Different. Yes. It is disgusting. Yes. <laughs> All right. Fried plantain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I go to the go to my job at eight o'clock. <laughs> okay. What about Andrea? Andrea, are you there? Andrea is listening. Yeah, she's listener. Continue yes, with the I next question. It. What is the next question? What activities are you doing at work to get a promotion? In my case, I follow the instruction. I try to be creative and send many reports and get or recite training. Or making or receiving, okay, I'm making or receiving, 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 receiving training. training. Um, Remember, everyone, it's not necessary to write the answers. This is just mm -hmm. to speak, okay? Okay, 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 okay. Perfect. Um. I'm going to, uh, to to respond the fourth sentence. What do you usually do when you are on vacation? I think that this question is in simple present because they don't use the ing in the verb. And then if I need to respond this question, I think that I'm travel with my fam I travel in with my family um to different places in El Salvador especially because I think the internal tourism is important for the progress and the business for our uh paisans or uh, I don't know how would you say paisanos um for the people of, of El Salvador, okay. And you, can, you Karen? Okay, but I have a question because if the question is in simple present, can I say I'm traveling? No. Not really, right? So I have to say? Uh, exactly, exactly, exactly. I travel. I travel. Yes, I travel. I that's travel. the one. Travel. Okay, and you, Karen, what do you what do you usually do when you are on vacations? I go to the beach. I visit uh, family. Um, okay. I sleep today mm -hmm. Sorry. okay you sleep today but then in the vacations you, you I try to to stay with my mom my grandmom my son the and almost never go to the other side. Okay. You spend a good time in family. Yeah. Okay, okay. And you well, well, in my case, I sometimes we go to the beach with my wife. We love go to the beach with my wife. 
And sometimes we stay in home, just uh, sleep or rest or, or doing something in our home. Okay. Yes. I need vacation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Uh, five, the last question. What are some things you do every day? Stephanie. Uh, uh, always uh, uh, I take to my English class and I read a book, uh, a science file. Book science file. Okay. Okay. Yes, I like Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> it's the good story. Yes. Usually play soccer only. Okay. Henry? I usually make in photosynthesis. <laughs> <laughs> in my vacations ah. <laughs> one or two days only one or two days and ah. the, the rest of my my uh, vacation it normally is a uh, one week and I <clears throat> I dedicate time to fixes uh, some things in, in in the house. And now I am I am the man of house. <laughs> okay. And and this and uh, sleeping uh, and rest. Okay. Number five. What are what are something do you ever day? Um I shower. I dress soup. <clears throat> I go into meeting, breakfast, um, supervise uh, uh, route, um, a lunch, <laughs> <laughs> uh, coffee with me. Sweet brat. All right. Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Atilio, super good. I like that you are participating, that you are talking. I like it. Very good. Now, para que se le haga un poquito más fácil, solo recuerde: sujeto, verbo, complemento. So, si yo quiero decir, yo tomo café, no me diga solo drink coffee. Sweet bread. No, digamos, I drink coffee. I eat sweet bread. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I supervise root. I have breakfast. So let's see subject, verb, and complement. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay, everyone. Unfortunately, we don't have more time. We need to go back to the main room. Okay, let's go back. Time's up, time's up. Let's wait for the rest of your classmates. Okay, let's wait for everyone. Okay, uh -huh. I think that this practice was easy, yes or no? Or was it difficult? What do you think? The altruity, more or less. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> and the rest of you, what do you think? Easy, difficult, more or less, 50-50. How do you feel the practice? Easy. Easy? Actually, some of you were talking a lot, a lot of details. Very good. That's what I liked. 
Okay, now, listen, super good because some of you were identifying perfectly the use of simple present and the use of simple past. Super good because I was listening, a lot of participation, everyone, that is exactly what I want. So everybody tries to talk, okay? Little details as always, uh, remember everyone knows Spanish. I was listening to some words in Spanish, right? So mm, let's try to avoid them. So look at this. These are some of the words that I listened to. I listened paisanos. <laughs> so um, what, what is paisanos? Do you know that paisanos is people from the same country, right? So we can say countryman, if it is in plural, if it is in singular, you say country man, okay? So men, if it is in plural, or man, if it is in singular. Or a synonym is compatriots, okay? So if you want to say paisanos, just compatriots. Platanos fritos. <laughs> Do you like it, everyone? <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, I need someone. So... If you want to say this, we say fried plantain. Some people even add the word sweet. So fried sweet plantains. But the word sweet is optional. Okay, you can say just fried plantains. Remember that if we say bananas, fried bananas, not really. Bananas is a little bit different. Okay. So be careful with the vocabulary. Remember everyone, every time that you find a word that you don't know how to say it, I mean, let's search for it on the dictionary, okay? Don't be like, I yo voy a decir eh, any kind of word. No, dictionary. So that's way you will learn new vocabulary. Well, we don't have more time, everyone. So, as always, the winner who's going to stay today is, let's see, Kenya Elizabeth. Hello, Kenya. Are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, so Kenya, you have to stay. And the rest of you, everyone, go and work on the platform, please. And see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow, good night. Good night, nice. good night. See you tomorrow. Nice. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. You goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> Thank you, you too. Goodbye. Okay. Only Kenya stays, please. All right. Hello, Kenya. Okay, How are teacher. you? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. And you? How was your day? Actually, it was really good. I don't celebrate Valentine's Day, but <laughs> I, it was good. <laughs> How about you? Do you do my anything work, special? Only work? Yes, in my work, we celebrate uh, Valentine's Day with ah. my coworkers and my boss. My boss uh, buy some food for breakfast and we share with us. And after that, uh, we have a department in my in my work, um, asuntos corporativos. I don't know how do you say in English. It's something like responsabilidad social. And they give give us a chocolate for each one. Ah, sounds good. So it sounds like a nice day, actually. Okay, yeah. very good. I'm sending in the chat a the words, asuntos corporativos. So you can say just corporate matters. Ah, okay, corporate mm -hmm. matters. Yes, all right, very good. Okay, so Kenya, this little meeting is just to uh, clarify some questions that you may have about the class or about the program or the platform. So tell me, is there any questions, for example, about today's class? No, the present continuous, I understand this topic and I only have to study vocabulary and it's difficult to me. And the platform, I finish um, all, all activities, but I only have um, 
problem with the 15. Yes, the homework number 15, but because I use the letters mayúscula, I don't remember. Capital, capital letters. Capital letters, yes, capital letters, and the answer is without capital letters. <laughs> lowercase. And lowercase, and it's the only problem that I have with the platform, but I finish. Okay. Okay, let's see. Yes, I'm checking the platform in this moment. Actually, I could see that in the exam, you got a very good score. So excellent job. And basically, you are free from the platform. That's great. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Uh, do you feel that simple past? Is it easy for you or difficult? Simple past. Um. I know the um, the form of the regular verbs and irregular verbs in past, but I have the problem with the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I know with letter T, finish with the letter T, ID, or only the letter D, but when I pronounce these words, I have the problem. Okay. Well, for, me, it's, for me, it's it is more, it's easier the irregular verbs because shame. <laughs> ah, so that's curious because for some people they hate irregulars because they feel that they are more difficult. But for you, those are, are the easiest ones. Yes, because because the regular verbs, I it's complicated to me the pronunciation. For this reason, I prefer the irregular. The spirit. irregular. That's a good point. Exactly. With the regulars, what is like a little bit complicated is basically the pronunciation. Hmm, so good. Well, during this week, we are going to start practicing the simple past. So the idea is that everybody talks perfectly in simple past. Now, what are some of the skills in English that you feel that are like the most difficult for you? Listening, speaking, writing, reading. What do you think? Which one is the most difficult for you? Mm, maybe listening listening because, yes because i have some ideas and i write in uh, fast but the listening is so difficult but in the last listening that you um, use in the class is very clear the pronunciation mm -hmm. for me but other listening that i have the opportunity to hear um I I feel uh, more difficult. Diffi more difficult. All right. That used to happen. Remember that every person has a different accent. Sometimes the vocabulary that are inside of the listening or sometimes the speed. In some audios, they speed very fast. So that's why maybe we can feel it like a little bit more difficult. Now, um, very quick, I'm going to share with you one website that, in my own opinion, is very useful. So if you want to use it, I highly recommend it. Um, let's see, give me a second. I'm going to send a, the link. Look at this. This is a pretty nice website. Look, can you see it, what I'm sharing? Yes. Yes, okay, in this case, the level is A2, but you can switch. I mean, you can go to B1, that this is like the level that you are, like a little bit, because you are about to be intermediate. So you can move on, or you can start in A2. Right, A1, no, because it's like very easy. So A2 or B1 are the levels that you can practice. So if you see here, there are different uh, scenarios. So you can pick one of these ones and there will be different exercises about listening. So for example, imagine that you want to practice vocabulary about what? A, about jobs, for example. You click on it and there will be different listening exercises about jobs. So you play the audio 
and then try to answer all the exercises. When you finished, you can see, mm, are my answers correct? So look here, you can verify if your answers are correct or not. And also, if you want to learn more vocabulary, you can see the script. So there you can learn what they are saying, you can check the vocabulary, you can read it and practice. So it's a pretty nice website. So if you have free time, now that you finish the platform, you can have like a little more uh, time. So if you want to practice listening, okay? So I'm sending the link here in the chat on Zoom, okay? Okay. So if you have free time, you can practice it's listening. Very interesting. Yeah, it's a very nice website. You can take yes, advantage my... about it. Uh-huh. I'm going to review in my in my long time. Yes, do it because they uh, in this website there are like a lot of topics, a lot of vocabulary that you can use. It will be very, very useful. So you can if you want to uh, improve your listening. Okay. So okay. any teacher. other thank you. You're welcome. I don't know. Any other questions that you may have before leaving? No, teacher, only that. Okay, very good. Okay, Kenya, it's a pleasure to talk to you. So have a good night and see you tomorrow. Good evening. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye.